What's going on guys? It's Peekum Fun Fan 97 here, and I'll be going over how to do a burn and dodge effect in Adobe Photoshop CS6. To do this, you want to have your image imported into Photoshop. And once it's in Photoshop, um, you want to have your layers panel. If you don't have that open, go into window and layers. And you can have your background layer selected right here as default. We're going to make two copies of that. So just press Command J, Control J, it's a shortcut. Do that one more time, and you'll have two layers. This is the shortcut. This is the easiest way. If you don't want, to, if you don't like doing this, then click and drag like that, just to this second to last icon, and that will bring you two duplicate uh, background copies. Select the background copy two, and you want to go into a Image Adjustments and Invert, and that is Command I for the shortcut or Control I. Um, once you've done that, you want to go right here and click Vivid Light. Once you have done that, you want to go into um, Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur. If I can click that with my mouse, because it's being weird. And the radius, you want to keep it around 40, and the threshold about 40 or 35 would be good. Uh, once you've done that, click OK. And this is going to add more drama and detail to the picture. It kind of makes it pop out more. And once you've done that, we're going to merge down. To do that, you want to go into Layer, Go all the way to the bottom, click Merge Down. It's going to be a little different if you're on CS5. I'm on CS6 Extended, so it's going to be a little different. So click Merge Down. Let's see, layer I didn't click that. Merge Down. Okay, now once you've done that, again, we go back to where it says Normal and click Overlay. Now, you're going to have the Drama slash Burn Dodge effect. Um, if you zoom in, you can see that there's so much detail, and it kind of brings in those colors and hues and saturation if you kind of be more specific so uh, this is before and this is after before this is after so it does kind of bring in some color and burn and dodge effect if you aren't satisfied with that click the burn and dodge tool which is o and you can still create even more um dodge and burn just by clicking and dragging just like the paint brush and this will just lighten up the image Plus, it uh, creates it more, but it's going to look a little weird if you do it too much. So when you're finished and you're satisfied, you want to go into File and Save As. Usually, if you were to save it to just your normal computer, click Desktop. If you want to save it as a Photoshop, as a .psd, you can do that, or as a JPEG, and click Save. Now, if you're going to save it for the web, I don't really use this, but you can. You can click Save for Web. This just takes a little more, uh, takes longer to do. Um, so you would just close where it says preset, go all the way down to any of these presets you would like. I usually go with JPEG high. Um, you can select if you want low or maximum, and then you click save. And that's how you save an image in Photoshop. Plus, it's a little tip. <laughs> and if you guys like this tutorial in any way, if it helped you uh, achieve your goal, then go ahead and leave a rating in the description, which would be much appreciated. And subscribe if you're new because I do post Photoshop and a lot of tutorials on my channel. And leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.